Hey guys, so I just finished filming my first pregnancy vlog, um, and now I'm going to go ahead and film um, my first maternity haul since I have some time. I'm not working today, so I figured might as well film it while I'm actually sitting here in front of the camera. Um, so I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I've been using lately, and um, a baby haul will be up in probably two or three weeks after we find out the gender and we do a little shopping. So yeah, let's get into the maternity stuff. So the first few things, um, I'm going to show you guys um, some shorts. See if I can move this camera. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, I picked up a few shorts because it is like a million degrees outside and I like don't see myself wearing like pants or jeans until like October time because it is so hot. Um, so these are the maternity shorts, one pair that I got, and they look ginormous on camera, but they're really not that big. Um, it's weird because, like, maternity pants are very strange. Like, I, uh, it was very weird getting fitted and stuff, but these are a size medium. So these, I like these. They're comfortable. I'm not a fan. I've come to the conclusion I'm not a fan of these little... Um, stretch bands because you can see them through your shirt and they kind of just they kind of push on your belly a little bit um, but I did buy these I got these from Ross and these were like eight dollars um, they're by the brand Planet Motherhood I don't know I just wanted a pair of jean shorts so these are what they look like they've got a little bit of like discoloration distress and they roll up and the pockets all work and yeah so I got those then I got these which these are my favorite um, I actually went to, what was it, Motherhood, something, I think it was Motherhood, um, and I got fitted for these, and these are Jessica Simpson, and these were expensive, <laughs> um, and that's why after I bought these, I was like, I'm not buying every pair from here because I just couldn't deal with it, um, so that's why I went to Ross, found out they had really cute maternity stuff, so I'll probably be picking up a lot more from there. But um, I really do like these. These are the brand Jessica Simpson. These are in a small, and these are what they look like. They're the white shorts. They're kind of hard to show you guys. Um, let's see if we can do this. But this is what they look like. They're a size small, and they're like distressed on the bottom. And what I like about these the most is they have the band that goes all the way up. So you, when you get really big, you could pull the band up, and it will give your belly support. Or like if you're at the stage where I'm at right now, where you're kind of that in between. You're not flat anymore, but you don't really have like a big bump. Um, you can roll it down and it lays over your hips. And this is so much more comfortable and stretchy versus the other type of band that I've personally found. But yeah, I really like these, but these were like $34, I think, or $30, something like that. But they're by Jessica Simpson. They fit really great. What I like about those is that they don't look like maternity pants when you have them on. They look like just normal shorts. So, I like those. This next pair also came from Ross. And these are just like a more comfortable, like, really thin. I'm not really sure what this material is. It kind of reminds me of like a windbreaker almost, but not exactly. Um, but they've got all these really cool pockets on the sides. And these are just super comfortable. Like I said, I'm not a fan of this band. Now that I know that, I probably won't buy any more with the band like this. Um, just because I don't find it as comfortable as the other ones. But I bought these and these were about the same price, like $8 from Ross. And these are a size small as well by the brand Angel Kiss Maternity. So, like those. Um, the next thing is going to be kind of hard to show. It's just a maxi dress. It's a strapless one. Looks like this. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I wore this in a post when my husband and I went to Disney with some friends. Um, this is what it looks like. The top it's just got like the little piece that folds over. And it's got this little belt thing that cinches around. But it's just a long blue maxi dress. And I got this from Forever 21 for like $11, I think. Um, it's really comfortable. It's cute. Um, it is a little bit on this sheer side. Which I'm not a fan of, but um, for $11 it was fine just to have to wear. Um, I'm finding maxi dresses and maxi skirts are really comfortable. Um, just because you don't have anything like pressing on your stomach all day. Uh, so, on to some shirts that I picked up. 
Yes, I'm one of those pregnant girls that will wear stuff that talks about the bump because I'm at that weird point right now where I feel like I need something to show that I'm pregnant and I just haven't eaten too many pies. So, um, I bought this one and I haven't worn it yet. The tag's still on it. It came from Ross and it says, I love my bump. And it's just this really pretty coral color. It is a, um, like, t-shirt, almost bat wing type of t-shirt. Um, I just have the sleeves pulled up on here so it doesn't stretch it out. But that's what it looks like. And this is by the brand Robin's Nest Maternity. And it's a size small. And it was $7.99 at Ross. So I really like this and I think it would be super cute during the summer. Um, once my bump actually gets a little bit bigger and fills it out a little bit more. So love that one. The next one also came from Ross and I believe it was about $7 as well. This is also from Robin's Nest for and it was a small and this one it's the same type of thing it's just a t-shirt but I have the sleeves tucked in um, it's just a normal t-shirt this one's really cute on and it says hands off the bump and it's got the blue hand prints um, I don't know what the gender is but I just saw this and thought it was so cute so I had to have it um, so I got that one um, this one from Ross is really cute I haven't worn this one yet um, this one is by the brand Man's the World. Mom's the World. Man's the World. Mom's the World. Um, and it's a small and it was $7.99 as well. And it's just this really cute polka dot shirt. And then it's got like the blue trim right here. Um, the turquoise trim. But I thought this one was super cute and kind of fun. I don't wear polka dots very often, but I like the colors. And this one was actually given to me by my mother-in-law. Um, after we announced that we were pregnant, she sent a package and it has some baby clothes in it. And um, had this in it and that was really sweet of her. This was from, it's by the brand Liz Lang Maternity. It's a size small and I have no idea how much she paid for it. Um, but it's like this really cool like Heather Gray type of um, shirt. But I love this one and I can't wait to wear that one as well. Um, this shirt I picked up when we first found out I was pregnant because I thought it would be cute. Um, and I haven't worn it yet because I was waiting for my bump to get a little bit bigger. And I thought about maybe wearing these in like some um, pregnancy pictures. I'm not quite sure yet though. Um, this one is from Marshalls. It was $12.99. It's by J. Lee or J.G. Something like that. But this is not a maternity top. It's just a normal top. And honestly, I could have used probably like a medium or a large, but they only had the extra large. But when I tried it on, it feels like it will work, especially with my like chest region growing. And I wanted to have a lot of room in the belly area so I could wear it for longer. But this is what it looks like. It's just this lace top. And then it's kind of got this see-through, really pretty like design. It's got like the scalloped ends. And she's got really pretty design going through it. And that's the back. But I just thought this would be so pretty for pregnancy once my belly gets bigger and it will like fit over the belly really nicely. So I picked up this one. Um, the next thing that I got was this maxi skirt, which is kind of hard to see. You guys know what a maxi skirt looks like. Um, and this was from Forever 21 and I think it was like $9.00. Um, these pants have been my favorite so far and I want to buy some more of these. I got this from Ross and these are just some, um, how do you say it, Plazio pants. Um, just, they're too hard to take off the hanger to show you guys, but they're the Plazio pants. If you look on my Instagram, I posted a picture of me wearing these and they're just super comfortable, super cute and these were like $7.00. Um, but I thought they were adorable for summertime, like the colors, um, like maybe summer night time, um, when it's not so hot. Um, but I love those. This shirt came from Ross, and this was on clearance for like $4. And this is a maternity shirt by Annabelle Maternity. It's a medium. And once again, I probably could have used a small on this one because it is a little bit big, but it's okay because it will fit with my belly a whole lot longer. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's just got this really pretty, like, rose, like, collar, which I like. And the back is really cool because it goes into this racer back, or you can, like, spread it out to where it fills out thicker. I kind of like it, like, squished in because I'm a fan of racer backs. Um, but, yeah, that's what this one looks like. 
And the last one came from Marshalls, and I think this one was like $9.10. And I didn't buy all of these at once. It's been over like the past like two months that I've been slowly picking these up as I see them. Um, this one is not maternity. It's just like a normal shirt, and it's in an extra small, and this is a fresh man. And it's just one of those really big, billowy type shirts, so it will be perfect for when my bump gets bigger. And the bottom is trimmed with this really pretty, like, lace. And I just thought this would be really pretty for summer. And, yeah, and it kind of scoops down lower a little bit in the back, which is really cute. So, that's all the maternity clothes that I've purchased so far. Um, I probably won't purchase too, too many more unless I see that my bump gets really big and I need it. I will probably buy, um... A pair of maternity jeans though for the fall when it does get cooler because I know by then I probably won't be able to fit in back into my pants yet because like I said in my um, maternity vlog or maternity vlog like I said in my pregnancy vlog um, all my weight goes to like my hips and my bum and my thighs so I'm sure I won't be fitting back into those for quite a while um, so I will probably buy like a pair of pants like jeans and that's about it we'll see um, but I wanted to share with you guys two things that I've been using to help prevent stretch marks. Um, the first one, I've gone through two of these um, since I, I bought this as soon as I found out I was pregnant and I've been putting it on ever since. Um, and I went through two of these and it's the Cocoa Butter Formula by Palmer's. And it's got shea butter, argan oil, almond oil, collagen, and elastin in it with vitamin E. This stuff I did not like. I went through two bottles of it and then I was like, I've got to find something else because I can't handle it. The smell of it smells like, um, just chocolate, just straight chocolate. It reminds me like, like Easter, those little chocolate eggs, that's what this smells like and even now, I just, mm, it, it makes me nauseous, just the smell of it. So I haven't bought that anymore. I went through two bottles of it and I just, I can't handle the smell. So then I found this one. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. It has the vitamin E and it's for stretch marks, dry skin, uneven skin, aging skin, and scars. And, whew, out of breath. This one is the Rose Hip Fragrance, which I can handle so much easier. But this is what it looks like and it's an oil version, whereas the other two were like a thick cream. Um, when I'm done with this, I'll probably try something else. Um, but I really do like this so far. It doesn't like stain my clothes. It sinks in really nicely um, and it feels really good on the skin. So I use this like two to three times a day and it's just like an oil and you just squirt it out, rub it all over. And yeah, so those are what I've been using to help prevent stretch marks. And yeah, so that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. As always, be sure to like this video. Um, if you enjoyed watching it and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to see pictures of my daily life And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys <laughs>